with another video. I know we are going hard. We, I'm on a, I'm on a roll. So, on this time, on this episode, we are doing Solidscape versus 3D Systems. Which one is the best 3D printer of wax for jewelry to buy? The $25,000 one or the $55,000 one? Now, the choice is your knowledge. Now, let's talk about it. Talking about 3D printing wax, there's only two companies that are really, really about it. I know everything else about the resin is like, you know, castable, uh, it's 100% ash free, uh, 100%. I'm gonna be like 6 9 suck my, they're lying. It, it always sucks. I, I never had success with the resin. So, you, I went to wax. Now, these are the only two companies in the world that are actually doing a 3D printer of wax made exclusively for jewelry or for like, you know, this one's for like other stuff or like prototypes and stuff, but mainly jewelry. Now, this one's from my personal one. That is the Solidscape S325. Plus. Now, let me say this. This prints at 25 microns per layer, and it is beautiful. I love it. The reason why I love this wax more than anything is because it is durable. It, I can hold this from the prongs, from the sides, and no prongs are being ripped. I can even move my finger across like that. Obviously, you know, you, you, you're not like, ah, like holding it strong, but it's not breaking. As opposed, sweetheart over here, expensive and delicate, right? Go, like, like how they say in Spanish, cara y delicada la morra. ¿Sí me entiendes? So, $55,000 printer. Now, mind you, it's another seven to $10,000 for them to install it. They have to come install the printer. It's a 220 outlet, so they got to bring an electrician to put the box. And then if you move the printer from the specific spot, your warranty is voided. Bro, it's a fucking headache. I know there's people out there that, oh, I love it, I love it. You only say that because you don't have the money. Bro, if I had the $25,000 to buy this printer, you don't think I could have had the, uh, another twenty five dollars for this? Yeah, but it makes no sense. It breaks too easy. Now, that's what I mean that some people are not jewelers. I'm a jeweler, so I'm the same guy that printed it. I'm the same guy that's going to sprue it, to put it on the tree, to cast it. I know the product more than a lot of people do. And it, it is good. Don't get me wrong. There's people that they're very good with it. Now, they can tell you themselves that they've had prongs break. And if they say they have in their line, they're lying. Like, I might, you might not have the whole thing that broke, but at least two, three pieces did. When it comes to little prongs on the $55,000 one, which is the 3D Systems 2500 Pro MJP, that one right there is, I think, is shit. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Now, this one... It's being, um, th this one's being good for the video. He, this one hold up. But if this would have been pronged, gone. Broke. Now with this one, I'm not even trying to break it, but let's talk a little bit more about it. When it comes to 3D printers, there's a couple things you want to keep in mind is cost. How much does it cost for you to 3D print a piece? And also, you need to understand this. When you're 3D printing, you're not just 3D printing the exact wax that's going to be the piece. It uses more wax to make it, so it purges. So the 3D like heads will wax and then come over here and purge and then come over here and put wax and come over here and purge and it, throughout the whole process. So there's a whole lot of wax lost. A lot of wax lost. I'm telling you, man. I was like, Lord have mercy. I even told my mom, yo, can we like kind of like make a little thing to like save the wax separate so I can put it on there? You can't because it's contaminated. You And that's something you got to understand. These waxes, you can't just recycle the wax that was old used and then use it on this one because it, it's 
it'll it'll mess up the tubes of the wax. It just won't work. My honest opinion to anybody watching this video is the sodscape is and the reason the only reasons that I'm saying this is because the wax is stronger. It's easier to manipulate. It holds up to the sprue. So sometimes you'll have this that it melts at a lower at a at a lower temperature. So then the sprue's still hot, and then it'll fold, it'll bend. It's just a headache. When you have the post, the the prong, the prong goes, and the investment covers the whole thing. So now this melts out. But what happens with this? For some reason, the prongs come out smaller. So if it was like this, it'll come out like this, and oppose this as it came. As, as it was, boom, solid piece of metal. So that's why I like this, because the wax is also strong enough to create a strong mold around it that was perfect, and just boom, cast it again. Let's talk about the time. That right there, my friends. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Whoever told y'all these 3D printers were fast, they, they lying. Talking about 3D printing time. Solidscape, even though I love the wax, we still gotta be keeping real. This fucking slow. This is this is as slow as your grandmother getting inside the car, and when when you're on a hurry, I'm telling you, like the your best bet with this one is put the 3D print at eight o'clock in the night and come back tomorrow around twelve. <laughs> I'm I'm so serious, and I love it. But that's one of the things that like the company is like. Every printer has a problem. It's just what printer or what problems are you willing to deal with? The, the only problem with this is the slow print. But like I said, I can put it tonight and it'll be ready for tomorrow. And I'll be able to cast tomorrow. I, I personally rather, you know, like um, find a middle ground that I'll compromise the time of printing for the strength of the wax and for just the strength of the wax. Like... I'm so adamant about when you work with a wax that is strong, you are not, you're going to work happily. Like, you want to be able to work, like, you know, like, you got to be in your groove. And, and this takes you out of the groove. It'll break. And then you're like, oh, no. And then, like, for example, like, I don't have this printer. This one I don't have. So I go downtown that's, like, 30, 45 minutes away. And the lady, she'll put it inside a box, and then sometimes on the trip to the house, little prongs will break. And the prongs, man, it's just the prongs is the problem. The prongs, the prongs. And then they got another wax, a red one, that's just fucking bullshit. It's like basically like hot wax that's not fully cooled down, but it's in that point where it's too soft that you can still squish the wax, but it's, it's hard enough that it holds the shape. Ridiculous, ridiculous. So their best wax from 3D Systems is the purple. Now, Solidscape, let me say this. They made another 3D printer called the Muse, and that one's smaller, smaller, so you can do like three by two, but it's faster. So for example, if this one took like the whole night, that one's gonna take like six, seven hours. Still the whole same night. Like I, I put it in the night, come back tomorrow. Put it in the night, come back tomorrow. So, you know, they even do commercials like, this is your one employee that works 24-7, is always there, reliable. You can count on it. You can count on the Solidscape 3D printer to make sure your life as a jeweler is the best thing that ever happened to you. Bro, that's how they be promoting. I, and let me say this, I don't regret it one bit. I love it. I'm willing to wait for the time because... I like I like manipul I like working. Look at that. No prongs are ripped. Boom, boom, look at that. Boom. Look at that. This talks a lot about it. Like I I, I know some of y'all that maybe have never dealt with these waxes. You're like, man, what the fuck is he talking about? Yo, if you've casted with these, you know what I'm talking about. And get the solid scape, you will be changed. I promise you. You will you will change the solid scape team. You'll never want to leave. Like me, I'm never leaving. Like, I'm buying another one. I bought the $25,000 one, and I'm buying the... It's a $8,000 printer. I'm buying both of them. I don't care, because they're so good. I'd rather put one to print, put another one, keep it moving.
You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's just so good. Now, prints at 25 microns per layer. You you can get better than that with this one that prints at nine. Now, so the 3D systems can, can also print at a very low micron. I think, if I'm not mistaken, all the way up to four, a six, one of those. But let's say the same, I'm still going with the wax because it's strong and it'll let you work. You will not have problems, you know? Now, this is one of those things. If you trust Jacoby, believe and get the solid scape. Don't, don't get no other one. And tell him, call and try to talk to Matt. Be like, hey, my boy Jacoby sent me. I'm about to splurge, I'm about to run up the check. I need to see what's up. They'll take care of you. They always take care of me. Now, thank you for the video. Love, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everything you guys do for me. I really can't show enough love. We are releasing the book very soon. The online classes are up. We're doing online classes every Friday at 8.30. So you'll be able to learn jewelry right from the comfortability of your home. You'll be able to get a tool list. And if you also want me to fill up your tool list supply, I'll be able to do that. And mind you, once you become a member, you'll also be able to go to my suppliers and get my discounts. So it's like 20% on some, 15% on another, 5% always. But let me say it adds up. So instead of, you know, or you bought a $5,000 equipment, you got a couple hundred back. So make sure y'all stay tuned in. We got more videos coming out. I'm about to expose these foolers. The next one I'm going after is Ben Baller out here acting like he's a jeweler. He ain't capping ass. So now we about to go at their neck. We about to <laughs> shock to everyone. I don't care what it is. You acting like a fooler. You saying you a jeweler, but you're not. Prove it. Thank you so much. Gracias. Hasta la próxima. Arrivederci.